their side? No, no, we just weren't competitive to be honest. You know, conceded a couple of early goals and uh, hit a bit of adversity and just didn't respond too well to it. And full credit to um, Brisbane, and they really took advantage and kept the roll on. Did you put it down to today? I, I guess you didn't see that coming. What, what, what happened out there? No, they all good. That's, <laughs> that's a good question. You know, we've been training really well over the last weeks. Um, so that's it's quite a shock, but just the competitive edge really wasn't there today. It can be a long time in football, or a week can be, but a few months certainly. It's, it's almost it's the biggest turnaround in AL in history as far as goals go. It just shows you that things can turn. I guess you can turn it around too. Well, it's been a, <laughs> a bit of a strange season so far, hasn't it? With everyone, everyone can beat everyone. We gave them eight when they came to Melbourne and now they've given us five here. So, um, yeah, it's a bit of a strange league this year. Is it a, a good thing that you've got the derbies? I mean, it, like focus and competitiveness, you talk about competitiveness, oh. it, it shouldn't be an issue for you, should it? No, it, sh it shouldn't. We should just be competitive every week. It doesn't matter because it's a derby coming up. As I said, we've prepared really well over the last weeks um, and always hit a few patches, but today was pretty poor, so very disappointing for everyone. What gives you confidence you can turn it around because you've lost all of the last you know, five, I think? Yeah, well, we've got to, we've got to keep working. There's no uh, other way out of it. We've got to keep working, got to keep believing, got to get through the process, and that's how it is. You know, we're, we're not the first team to uh, to get battered, and, and we probably won't be the first team. We will have to try to respond, so that's how it is, and as as poor as it is and how disappointing everyone is, we just got to get back onto the back on the horse and uh, keep working, trying to keep believing. You know, we've had some changes and again, there's no excuse, but we just weren't competitive enough not tonight. Who's back next week for you against City? Against Victory, sorry. Uh, no, um, I think just about everyone is here now. Uh, Nuno's still uh, carrying a bit of a groin injury. Um, obviously, um, Tolly suspended um, and um, Callum Talbot. Is that, a, is that something that can be a benefit though, having victory next? Yeah, it could. It could. Well, you should be motivated every day. I'm not saying they weren't motivated. They, they certainly prepared very well. We certainly prepared well over the last weeks, but for whatever reason, it just didn't happen tonight. Jamie has just lost a bit of an edge. Jamie hasn't scored in six games, but I guess so. Yeah, that can happen to a striker, but I mean, is that a sign of something else? Well, you know, uh, you know what strikers are like. You, they're going to hit a purple patch, and sometimes they go through periods where they're not scoring. And you know, he's had uh, quite a few chances over the weeks. So, uh, a couple again tonight. It is like that for the strikers. You know, uh, sometimes the goal looks like a, a mouse hole. You know, and, and sometimes it looks like uh, you know the goal is double the size. It's what it is, and uh, you know we can't put our head in the sand at all. You know we've got to face up to some realities and uh, accept a lot of things, and and continue to move on. As it is, it is painful, but there's no other way.